Is that working? Hello, check, one, two, one, two. I'm keeping that in the start of the video. <laughs> Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Michael Hennessy Jr. joins me in the bubble. Um, fight night is, well, just over 24 hours away. How are you feeling? I'm feeling excellent, Oscar. You know, this is the, the best I've felt for a, before a fight. I've really been, I've really turned a corner in my boxing career, I believe. You know, I've been, tra training's been going excellent, sparring's been going excellent. I've been, you know, dedicating myself, getting up at 5 a.m. doing my runs. So, you know, there's been no stone left unturned. I'm feeling great. 5 a.m., I don't envy you at all. I'll tell you what, we got a lot of catching up to, actually, because I just said to you, the last time we spoke was Dil Magani Fonseca. I think that was your third or fourth fight. A lot happened since then. I need to address the fact, of course, you've got a defeat on your record as well. And I know, you see, that would have, that would have hit you hard. Um, so if you don't mind, I wouldn't mind sort of going a little bit deeper into that. Disappointing night for yourself. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll open up to me perhaps the emotion afterwards because no one wants to lose their O. It's become a bit of a thing in boxing, having the O, keeping the O. Um, but yeah, things didn't go your way that night. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that was heartbreaking, my first defeat in the professional ring, you know, it did really hit me hard. I did believe I won the fight on the cleaner shots, but, um, you know, it was a terrible performance because, like, you know, it was just the one of the first... It was literally straight after the pandemic. I've got people on the shielded list in my household, so I was just sort of doing my own thing training-wise, just on my own. I wasn't allowed to mix, wasn't allowed... Didn't really spar. I had two spars before that fight, and I was just on the bag, do, working at my own pace and doing my own running. So I was in terrible shape before, and... Um, yeah, after the defeat, I just had a long, hard look at myself and I just thought, you know, I need to I need to do something different. You know, I need to really start taking this sport seriously because it's a dangerous game. You know, people get hurt in this sport. You know, it's, it's life and death. So, yeah, I believe even though it, it hurt me bad, you know, I believe it would be the best thing that's ever happened to me in a real a thing, career defining moment for me, I believe, because I've, I've turned into a real professional since that defeat. Yeah, well, you're not the first fighter to lose Ayer. And I don't know, do you feel like there's perhaps a weight off your shoulders? Because like I said, the O is so important now. Some fighters get to 9-0 and, and they're a bit hesitant at times. You don't have the O. Is it sort of a weight lifted or have I made that up? Well, um, I see what you're saying it is a weight lifted, but of course I'd still love to have it, you know. But um, Trying to find your silver lining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. But, you know, it is what it is. It's not the end of the world, like you say. I'm... Um, you know, I'm game for any fight. I wasn't too concerned about that anyway. I'll, I'll step in there with whoever they put in front of me. So, yeah. And um, has it brought out a different side in you? Like, do you feel like, I know you said you're obviously taking it, knowing you'd have to take it serious and probably training harder. I don't know, have you got perhaps a more vicious side? Because you have fought since then, got victories as well. So is it like a, a more of a burning hunger, more of like an aggressive Michael Hennessy Jr.? Absolutely, you know, I was always too sportsman, like like in the early days of my crow, before that loss, and then uh, in my amateur career as well, you know, it's really brought out a spiteful side of me, and you know, when things get tough in the gym, I just think about the pain I felt that night after that defeat, and it really pushes me on. When things get hard in training and sparring, that's what I think about, and it's, it's turned me into a different animal. And obviously going from that, and then getting a win on your return as well, um, experiencing both emotions in quite a short space of time actually I suppose it's like learning and ticking a box you've experienced how it feels to lose and then experience how it feels to pick yourself back up so so just like constant learning yeah absolutely you know um that was a, a big I wanted to get out as soon as possible after that fight but you know I, I'm quite glad it, I had like a couple months between to really sort of adjust what I was doing and you know make some big differences which I believe showed in that uh, next fight afterwards you know I, I thought that was my best performance to date by a mile and you know since then we've stepped it up again and I've been sparring a lot better again with a lot better calibre of fighters and tomorrow night I believe you're all going to see um, like a new Michael Hennessy. Can you name drop some fighters? We love a sparring story. Is there anyone that you've sort of been, been doing the rounds with? Yeah, the, so I did, I've done a lot of rounds with Louis Green, he's a great fighter, former Southern Area champion, real, real hard case, good puncher. Uh, Julio Chavez Campbell, you know he's uh, he's very similar to my opponent in terms of height, and he's he's a very good boxer, very good technician himself, and uh, had a great spar with Chris Congo as well before he headed out to uh, Vegas with Josh Taylor. So, yeah, I'm getting some good rounds in with like top fighters, and it's it's really going to pay dividends tomorrow night. You know, the plan is to stay active, get as many fights in as possible, take the appropriate step ups at the right time. You know. Um, 
I believe like I'll have a couple more six rounders and then step up to eight for the last couple or few fights of this year. And then we'll see what happens next year. You know, hopefully in my eyes, I'll, I'll be guided by my team. But for me, I'd like to be fighting for a title towards the end of next year. Definitely. I remember one thing vividly, actually, when I first spoke to you, um, which was obviously, like I said, after your third fight or so, one thing that you said was you didn't want to be in your dad's shadow. Yeah. I suppose you've still got that hunger to not be in your dad's shadow. Everyone knows your old man, loyal, great guy, done loads for the sport, but you've still got that to not be in his shadow, still got that burning. So. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think I was in too much of a rush for that, to be honest. I feel like, it, you know, he's got quite a big shadow, so I'm going to have to be a little bit patient with that one and, you know, work my way up slowly and, and gain credit slowly, slowly but surely, you know, but that is definitely the goal one day for him to be Michael Hennessy's dad rather than me being Mick Hennessy's son, you know. So I want to introduce you when I interview you at some point as just Michael Hennessy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, fuck the last two letters off of the yeah, G. Just Michael yeah, Hennessy. Yeah, just Michael Hennessy, that's it. Um, yeah, sweet. All guns uh, blazing for tomorrow. Look forward to it. Fans back as well. Um, oh, yeah. Quick one about fans back, actually. Buzzing, mate. I'm buzzing just to see it and you get to fight in front of it. Now, that's when one thing I do envy. Absolutely. You know, it's going to be unreal. The atmosphere, I can't wait to feel the atmosphere on fight night again. You know, I'm, I'm very grateful to have been able to box during the pandemic and stuff because, you know, a lot of fighters haven't been able to. They've been very inactive. But this is, I, ca I cannot wait to feel the atmosphere again. I've got loads of friends and family coming up to support me all the way to Coventry. So it's going to be a brilliant night.